Hey everyone, quick walkie-talkie video here. So, we've got going on the calendar, on the tour calendar, and many of you wrote in and said Purim is the 24th, 5th, and 6th of March. And it is, and it actually overlaps Passover on the tour calendar. There, so, um, on the 25th, we're having another blood moon. Yeah, another blood moon on Passover. And God may be highlighting the Torah calendar by putting it on, on, on Passover on the Torah calendar again. Even though Israel is, is going to be uh, celebrating Passover in April, but God might not be. So you also have on the third day from the full moon is the, uh, the 28th. Again, that's the third day from the full moon, which is interesting uh, since I got that number 28 uh, in my last video. So the other thing we have, uh, the blood moon will begin at 1253 AM, which is, um, on the 25th. And there's a one five three in there, which is catching a fish. Um, so you have on the, on the, the 14th of the Torah, you have Purim and Passover and, and a blood moon. I mean, this God is, God is, uh, really marking this. Um, then you've got the solar eclipse on the 8th that everyone's talking about. So the Bible says, you know, the day of the Lord follows a, a blood moon and a solar eclipse, the day of the Lord. So uh, on April 8th, you'll, you'll have both of those qualify to start the day of the Lord. And so the rapture could definitely be before that. If it's going to start then, which it looks like it, it very well could then we would be out of here before then. And then one of you mentioned, too, that um, they're more likely to sacrifice the red heifer on the 28th because it's a Thursday, and why would they do it on the Shabbat? It's a good point. Um, and uh, f for a few who didn't understand, you know, the, the sacrifice of the red heifer is a big deal because the third temple has to... It has to have this sacrifice before they can start their daily sacrifice. And the third temple is going to be rebuilt. And it's all about, uh, it's all about Jacob's, Jacob's trouble, the Daniel's 70th week, which is the very thing that we've been talking about for quite a while, that we should not be here for that. So the other thing on the 28th, March, is that it's a 117 on the Torah calendar. And if you reverse that, it's 711 which is the flood, Genesis 7-11. That's when the flood hit. So 117's always been a big number for all of us. And then on the 21st on the Torah calendar, Israel crosses the Red Sea. That's April 1st. That's big because Israel crossing the Red Sea is, is a rapture type and shadow, as well as the number 21 is also big, and it's uh, the first day of April. So April Fool's Day. Perhaps there's a pun with that. It looks like I've, I should uh, close this so I can load it, and it has to be, it's going to be, these are short videos anyway, so hopefully I can load it from the car. So God bless, over and out.